morning, everyone. And uh, today it's a brand new day. Of course, we are going to uh, discuss with another topic in personal administration. So today I will be discussing to you about organizing a human resource department. So maybe uh dili lang kay karon ra na kanag tungod no kaning word na human resource department uh often times ako na siyang may encounter especially those who actually have an experience no applying for a work niya na gini siya no gamit kay ni siya sa atong organization so mo na atong pagtukyon karon sa ilang mga functions sa mga gamit uh, sa gamit sa human resource department sa to ang or sa matag organization okay so let me uh, begin with the introduction. How the process an organization takes in creating human resource department differs based on the third organization. It's brand new or the organization has been in operation for some time and is just now adding an HR department. previously based on the history, of course, uh, there are ways to ready. on how uh, management actually becomes useful. Dili lang karon sa sa karunyan na panahon but even before. No, but uh Molina all throughout the years it actually evolves no yan ay mga changes and that changes is not something that is actually happening by uh, a matter of a design like utang na siya no for nothing. Uh, it actually has a purpose. So mo na nga uh, kinanglan no uh karon sa kala karon na naman tay bag-o nga uh na may mga bag-o nga ano mga patakaran uh, so in relation to that kanang patakaran ang gipasabot is something that is ano no na mga uh updates o may mga bag-o kabag-uhan parte sa mga balaod balaod sa pagkanar bago so of course that could somehow also affect how the management actually evolves in addition the issues and concerns of starting the HR department are affected by the current size and expected growth of the organization so, appeal po no, atong matataw diyan no, appeal po na when, when uh, and a particular organization actually increases in size, of course, normally, uh, there will be changes no, in, in the functions, there will be changes on uh, how the HR department take good care of the organization, take good care of the people who are working in the organization. So, the amount of support and infrastructure are already in place, the industry and the organizational vision and culture. It was already there, the VMGO, the mission, mission goals, the infrastructure was already erected, uh, the support is already there. So, this article provides a general overview of areas of issues lawyers should consider when building an HR department from the ground up, including the following. So, Moni, I forgot, I have to share this one day to everybody also. So, let me share to you this. Okay. So, Dili, uh, natay, ano? there you can see na diya mga following yung mga factors na yangan i consider sa human resource department. So, we have HR staffing plan, we have, we have HR budget, tax obligations, payroll system or administration, company wide staffing plan, job description, uh, Pay structure, benefits plans, employee handbook, safety procedures, uh, employment posters, hiring procedures, personnel files, and performance evaluation process. So, diyan no, tataw that kiting taku ak ayo o kining a responsibility ato na namakita diya daan. But later on, we will be discussing that one one by one. So, kana lang sa diyan no, pasi una, ipakita diya ang mga the crucial functions of the HR department. Now, for an ex existing organization, the steps to implementing an HR department may overlap with creating the function from scratch, depending on comply uh, compliance concerns, existing HR policies, and what is driving the need to establish a formal HR department. So, nang gitawag masyano nga to the department may overlap with creating the function from scratch. You know, uh, it was actually started, no, yes, uh, it was actually started yeah, no, sa personal administration until all throughout the years actually evolved. So, yeah, no, usab. So, ang pag-usab is, uh, yeah, and management also. Sometimes, hindi lang, no, kaya, pwede lang natin i-assume dito, no? 
ang ang nanay mga sistema diya assume lang nimo still mao gyapo na imo niya apply so atong atong balikan atong lantawon na sinugdan na lang da ano if there are changes in terms of size so of course meaning to say the policy could actually affect everything it's very necessary also to actually have a strong background dili lamang strong background for kana nga so lang no kana ba nga enough lang na nga nga kopya lang ta no kopya ta sa mga binuhat sa atong mga previous nga mga HR heads or sa coming from the pre previous nga naka naka manage this HR but also you have to you know if you are in the ah uh, na kadya no in, in reality na kadya sa so so sa organization it is uh, coming from your own observation no and coming from that own observation so that's the time no that you can technically apply kung sa mo mga nakatunan especially sa mga needs pagtan-aw sa mga needs what are the needs to be improved what are the needs to be kay usay sometimes na may mga policy no ah kinahanglan na to tangtangon and uh, ang pangutan na sir is it is it the HR itself who will actually automatically do that one ah uh, if the case is not that uh, very problematic uh, for example sa usa ka organization like padung na mo bangkap <clears throat> na may mga inana no may instances so of course uh, there's a need for this what we call consultants business consultants mo na mga business consultants ila man po nang pano ila po na nga ila po na nga expertise no ang kaning pag-ayo sa social sa organization and they are going to coordinate with the HR no huh? Uh, Pagkutanon po na sa business consultant ang HR, what are what are the problems, what are the the things that are possibly based on the interventions, uh, based sa ilahang uh, pag-investigate sa mga problems na may arise sa sa organization, uh, what are mga policies that are not applicable to the organization which is uh, it was actually already imposed. So if there's an, a need to actually revise everything, they are going to revise. <clears throat> okay? So, creating an HR department in a startup or new facility. So, many small organizations, excuse me, start up with the owner or a non HR executive handling employment issues. So, someone must oversee administrative duties and policies concerning pay and benefits, unemployment compensation, withholding taxes, and administering workers' compensation if applicable. So as, as organizations grow, department also, no? kani pang department managers may handle general employee issues so tinuod man ano uh, as as the organizations grow of course makadaghan makadaghan ang ato nga trabaho makadaghan ang trabaho unon sa mga HR managers okay or department managers so while accounting or finance handles payroll organizations may use outside consultants to address temporary needs as mo na nako dimension while ago So the strategy of the HR uh, duties among various uh, managers and departments or hiring HR help on an as needed basis. So maybe satisfactory up to a point. However, when additional federal laws kick in, some of the threshold of 15 employees maintaining a focus on myriad compliance laws while growing the business can become difficult. No? Having an HR professional on site is more efficient to address issues such as hiring, firing, leave, management, training, discipline, policy development, and enforcement and benefits. So at this point, a small organization may walk to think, I'm sorry, we want to think about establishing a dedicated HR department. So, mauna no, kani, mauna yung mga concerns, mauna yung mga primary functions of HR. So yeah. Okay, so let's proceed with number one. We have this HR staffing plan. So of course, as I discussed before, no? Uh, can you HR staffing plan with a hiring qualified and experienced HR professional is not an easy task for a startup. Ngano man, ngano man, sir, uh, it's not just about, you know, you're going to hire because the, the company is in lack of a personnel. But of course, you are going to hire someone, but then I know, hire the right person for the right position. Meaning to say, it's very important to actually choose those most competent ones. Okay, dili mo na dua class niya, and especially yung kaning trabaho sa HR, is very crucial. Pwede pag just a single mistake, it could actually affect the entire organization. Okay? So, gani no, kanang mga 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 managers, of course, they are good at that, no? Especially, sila may mukuan. Magta na, as experienced ako before, 
we conducted uh, hiring, no? uh, uh, recruitment, and selection. Ang, ang, ang final nga interview, ang final nga approval is coming from the manager. Ang uh, mga manager, mga po na yung mo last na mo screen. Uh, but anyways, uh, that is, then na po na siya, no? from case to case basis, magtindi na siya sa organization. Pero mostly, as fair observation ako, magit sagad. Because this is something very important. No? Yeah, most often, a uh, one person in our department or solo practitioner would be staffed with an HR generalist or HR manager. So, sa high uh, if that if the organization is not that uh, uh if uh, it can actually uh, pwede rasyano ng uh, for example, nare mga 30 employees or 50 employees. Uh, of course, it doesn't need a lot of uh, more HR to be hired para diha no sa HR department. So, matawag kag HR generalist because you will be performing sa tanan, no? Recruitment and selection, uh, kana sa payroll also, you will be performing about that one. Kana sa compensations and benefits, uh, kana, no? Training, you will be conducting training also. So, only applicable for those mga may lang ng mga organizations. Okay? So, when screening candidates, organizations should consider the following attributes. Appeal nino, gani, o gani, when you're going to check to the internet, nagin nga nai makita nyo dyan, no? when, when there is a hiring for an HR, nagin nga number of years of HR experience and the level of responsibility in those years of experience. So what are your, uh, how many years have you been working as an HR? The responsibility that you encounter, gani, pwede mo na ang uba, no, mamakakalam sa butang na two years, sa one year ang experience, tanga two years, three years, pero masakpan ng Japan, no? Ano, uh, in a, during interview, ana may balaan naman dyan po na scrutinize mo nagmayo. Again, makita man sana no, in, in the way the person actually talk, the way the person actually or the applicant actually share his uh, responsibility, experiences na encounter dyan no, sa organization previously kung asa siya nagtrabaho. So, nana yung mga uh, illustrative example was the candidate, a generalist, a manager, or a specialist. So, if you're a manager, of course, what are the functions that uh, you perform? What are the most, what are the most crucial um, experience no, nga, imu nga, 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 imu nga, na manage, especially kan mga problems no, uh, pertaining to the organization? Now, experience working with startups or organizations of similar industry or size. So, you know, ang, 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 sa imu ang pag -intro, sa imu introduction no, as an HR. First, ni mong salang, like example, uh, as is lang nung no, wapak ka experience, or katom of the first time ni mo nung no, anakain na nanaplay ka ato. So, is it the, the industry that you're working before is uh, the same type of industry as what you're applying right now? Because that would also matter with your uh, the, the management style, the way you actually perform with your previous job. Okay? At least, dili na mag need of the cooking uh, time for you to adapt. Uh, for you to adapt and at the same time for you also to apply the learnings that you have from the previous kind of job among the perform and the sizes also matters okay once previously if you're working 1000 uh, you cater 1000 you're in the payroll you're you are taking good care about the the salary of the employees uh, the, the salary so or, or both uh salary and compensation and benefits so Good for you, no? It's a nindot na siyang experience. So, if you're going to apply sa katong mga gagmay-gagmay lang na organization, surely, dali na kayo ka madawat. Because for them, you're not uh, sa basket pa, dili ka rookie, no? Dili ka mag-uhad. So, at least uh, immune na ka, no? Whatever will be uh, the the job which is uh, i-assigned sa inyo, ha? So, for sure, mo siyang ma-manage ito, no? Now, education level and HR related certifications. So, education level, of course, magdepende po na siya, no? Um, yan siya, plus, it does not just only speak about sa kwa, no? Uh, sa kwa ang, uh, like, for example, I am a psychology graduate, so, of course, what is uh, kaning vertical to my course is kaning human resource appeal po ni sila, no? Uh, we also have HRDM, or human resource field nga, nga major na uh, one course na agad no na pud ana na, na mga administrative uh, there are also business uh, 
administration graduates who happen to be an HR also. No, so magitindi mga gusto yaka. Namuoy mga functions like uh, like the fund, positions and benefits that can also be performed by an accountant. So diya, pwede, pwede po, no? Pero mali gina yata nang aon, nang tao na to. Uh, sometimes, of course, nita ko yung HR related certifications, trainings that are uh, relevant to HR functions. Now, what are these trainings? Of course, related sa mga functions as a human resource one, personnel. No? Like for example, uh, training is about compensation and benefits, training about labor code, training about recruitment and selection, training about you know, how to actually or how to conduct an effective training sa inyong pa. No? What are the ano, mga trainings? mga certificates like for example kung mingon ta og trainings panitan uh, ang imong giapplyan is naa ka sa training no no training specialist ka or uh, training acquisition specialist so ang imuha is uh, of course panitan ka og kanang mga kuano mga certificates proving that you conducted seminars ka may nag ka may nahimong speaker so with that of course that can be a solid uh, what is this? Uh, sulid nga nga paano kanang maka support sa imuha nga pag-apply. Knowledge of employment laws and other compliance issues. Uh, dira, no? So it's very important. Uh, last time when I was in my college years, we have labor code, no? Or labor law. So kanang labor code, we study about it one because that is very important uh, from time to time, uh, not only for the purpose of, you know, uh, I am going to work as an HR someday or I am going to work for something related to ano, no, sa panarbaho nga one. pero <clears throat> at least this is very important you know what's what's the important here is para lang po sa inyong kagalingon na application no, that you somehow you know your basic rights as a laborer as an employee na ability to conduct research uh, access resources prioritize and juggle multiple projects and um adjust to the quickly changing needs of a startup and communicate directly with upper management. <clears throat> no? So, uh, gani no, na kay everybody are actually encouraged to conduct research. Dili lang necessarily na paano ka na suguon pa ka, but you in yourself, you have to volunteer. You have to, to, to conduct research sa mga kukuling dili. Um, for the sake, na kay at least you know the background, you know what are the previous problems that are actually encountered by the organization. Uh, you know the, you know the staffing plan before, and uh, so somehow you can actually contest them no, with the kind of plan that you have. So yeah, maga maga contest the created idea. No, so ano mo pag, uh, so ano mo pag uh, provide a solution if ever uh, there is a need to actually restructurize or emotionally revise. So prioritize and juggle multiple projects. So, yeah, no? uh, it's very important also, but somehow it has something that would also uh, matter with this, what we call support from the top management. Adjust to the quickly changing needs of a startup and communicate directly with upper management. So yeah, you know, very important uh, communication because you will not only be communicating with the people, mga ordinary yung mga empleyado but you also have to communicate with the top management. Mo sana in the chat pero na ata sa in between, no? Nga if you have that uh, very supportive ng top management, ang mga CEO, mga or manager ba nato, also at, at least it will not be so hard for us to actually uh, make plans kung saman, no? Uh, at least uh, dali ra po kita maka-address ato mga concerns if we are actually Pero mo gina no maginahanglan mi kita sa ilaha nga panabang. We cannot just do it all by our own, no kay kanigong budget sa organization also it has to be communicated with the different departments and especially sa manager sila may kabalo anak ta. Pila allocation, uh, samta kay what, what is the purpose here sa sa kana ni siya nga need pa siya of approval coming from the manager is also kaning ko ano kaning Kani bang paglikay ba sa kayunan nga dili magasto ang kwarta sa di maayo? No? Na to the extent na makuha na noon, makompromise na noon ang servisyo sa uban because because of lack of budget. Now, as the HR department is being developed, including the development of forms, policies, and HR practices, consultation with attorney who is familiar with 
relevant state and federal employment laws can help avoid errors. So establishing this relationship early and using legal counsel upfront help reduce the potential of for low suits as the organization grows. So, uh, aside from the business consultants who are actually doctors of management, sila. so you also have to consult law uh, attorney, not a lawyer. Okay, why, why do we need to consult attorney? Of course, an attorney may mga nakabalo about legalities, especially uh, mga, mga rights related na mga kuhan problem. No, kaya naman tayo i-mention sa babaw. Uh, uh, other than that, no, kanin, kanin ko, ano, mga, mga taxes, ano, so somehow, uh, it would be also uh, a big help to actually consult with an attorney. Uh, good for those big uh, organizations who actually have their own legal consultants. Kaya eh, dali, ano lang, no? Dili na lisod. But for those nga katong wala pa, uh, so it, it would be much uh, wiser. No, nga to actually res uh, resort with consultation sa lawyer. Now, next we have HR budget. So the human resource practitioner's responsibility is to align the HR department's budget with the organization's strategic goals while following organizational guidelines and procedures. So kani, it's very important also why budget then, no? The budget becomes more than kita, no? This, uh, the, the salary that we receive is actually our lifeline. Kaya kung wala tayo childo, di, kuhan ka, di ito mabuhi. Okay? So, yung nanapun ng organization, the budget is very important. That's the reason why, of course, it has to be properly delegated. Because, man ako, magka-short ang budget, problema ako sa organization to the extent that it could actually uh, result to this what we call bankruptcy. Now, the responsibility of the human resource practitioner, no, as HR, yeah, Ah, uh, budgeting involves systematic collection of information and data so that so that the monetary resources needed to support an organization's objectives can be projected. So dia yeah, no? What are the the plans? What are the uh, like since it discussed or it mentioned about systematic collection of information? Like kung sa may mga next ninyo nga mga trainings, kung sa may for for next year, what are the the, the plans coming from the top management as supported? Oh, uh, like can you know, ang, ang work as function sa HR is to paano man gyud no? To kita man gyud mo mutabang ko taglili, tabang tagtan-aw no? Sa uh, mga organizations objectives that are to be ah uh, kanino you know, ilang hangay pa pa hinabo. No, of course, if there is a training to be conducted, if there is an orientation or seminar to be uh, conducted, of course, the budget will also follow. So part of that, mo na ako ba no mag uh, every department if they have a plan to somehow like for example dire sa arita dire sa kung ano arita sa logistics uh, the logistics department are actually proposing uh, training no uh, uh, training para sa ilang mga dito sa ilang mga members mga empleyado dito sa department now uh, part of that is the proposal no huh? they have to subject proposal so, sorry to submit proposal. Yeah. Apart, tana, muna, pag submit sa proposal, uh, there's also a budget allocated ana, no, part ng project, how much will be the cost of that particular training so that uh, it can be uh, examined by the HR. No, Tanawan po dahil nasa HR, no, apil po ng HR, mo, mo tanawan na, apil po sila, mo, 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 pa, no, mo ask a question if there is. No? And uh, of course, for the release of the budget, Kihangan pa po siya as siya coming from the approval of our manager. Okay? So, ang manager po, dili po na sila magpunan ay magdoduha. If that is something very important, of course, ilam po nang i-approve. Okay? So, nadrino, from a human resource perspective, the data needed to create a new budget include the following. We have, number one, number of employees projected for the year. So, pila. No? Pila ka-empleyado. Pila ka-empleyado ang mag-inabot. Uh, ang nawala ana no? benefits cost projection so diha no ato sa makita diha no what are the, the benefit cost projection mga mga gipahan uh, ay nga mga budget para ana uh, projected turnover rate so diha no uh, ang turnover kani bang mga nanguan ba mga nahawa oh pila ka buok no uh, kay kana ba yung turnover rate kasi mga si, si nawala na ba tong responsibility ana naaman ba 
Oo, no, naman nawala. Kaya nga naman, you still have to pay, especially ka nang gitawag na to uh, separation pay. Na, manak siya. No? Uh, for, for, uh, katong mga kumpani nga dag po, na po, na sila, dag po, na sila, separation pay that will also depend on pila ka ka years service sa, uh, sa organization. And I even, uh, I even experienced that one before, no, when I was working sa, uh, uh, privado, dag po ang kumpanya, Uh, I received uh, my last pay, no, ako ang separation pay. Okay? Uh, cost already incurred in the current year. So, yeah, no, ang, ang budget ginap every year expenses. So, ila po na i-contest. Ila po na i-ikuhan po na nila. Tandi, tandi po na nila. Plus, no, kaya parang uh, may balaan din na nila, no, how the money pila ilahang na nagasto for last year. What are the programs na ilang na, na nakahinabo po. Last year, compared to Ron, and for tomorrow, sana po doon nga kinanyipan nga program or mga training, sana. So at least, somehow, they will be guided. Muram nyo siya, tawag siya, muram siya, customer trending ba, kung siya maligya pa ka, no? Uh, that can also be the basis na, ah, kanay among budget, if if mo go lower ang among budget, ano yun, ay possibility na, kuhan mo yan eh, no? Uh, we will actually encounter this, what we call the bankrupt, So, dapat, uh, it has to be maintained that as much as possible. Siyempre, no, ang, ang, ang every organization mag-aim, mag of profit. So, ma, it, it would be much better if mag-kuan siya, no, bahala lang siya o kuan. At least every year siya magkadako. Kasi every year na yun ang magkagamay. So, something that is very alarming. Okay? Kaya nga, nalikayan po na siya. Uh, new benefits or programs plan. So, what are the new benefits and programs plan na nakalatag na no, sa inyong plano? Okay, since we talk about HR budgets, so of course, we will be, as ako lang gigi-discuss earlier, uh, before sa mga previous nga mga mga chapter, uh, dito, gisultin ako dito, no, nga, uh, when, when you are going to propose something or when you are going to advertise, simpleng kung usa ka mag, 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 mag ano, kaning recruitment at selection na mag ginadiya, appeal mag ginadiya, no, kaning nga mga benefits at programs nga itong eh, plano nga ihatag sa usa ka empleyado nga mo apply, no? So, the airport, of course, you have to sit to it that there's already a budget allocated for that. No, kasi mata pwedeng ni saad ka na, ni butang ka na, na once nga na nadiha, that could actually destroy our reputation. No, if hili na ni mo tumanon, not only destroying your reputation, much worse, what is, what could be the worst thing that may happen if hili na ni mo tumanon, of course, your liability sa balaon. Okay? So, naam na, no, like, for example, parihaan na pag-provide sa ato ang kwa, no? Uh, kanyang mga mandatory benefits, those lang anang mga extra kay Dilima Tanaw, that's not uh, the, the law, can, can no longer uh, inter, uh, ito, kan, eh. it can no longer be applied anang mga kwan, anang mga extra, but anang mga hindi ko, o, mga, mga perks, mga, mga bonuses, nga dagko, sa so, Dilima po na siya, ang, ang what is only man, mandatory to law, is kanyang ito ang kwan, ito ang uh, health insurances, No nga, there must be, yeah, no, ato makuhaan dia. Part na siya, no, nga to ang mga night na headship differential, mga nga na holiday pay, o ano, that is under in the labor code. Okay? So, kana, appeal po na siya, no, anticipated legal expenses. So, what would be the anticipated legal expenses? Pero siguro, kaning mga legal expenses, magdepende na niya. Like, for example, pareha nang nai na disgrace siya, no, sa ato ang, ah, Simbak po, diya sa social organization ay na-disgust siya. So, diligit kami yung ano nga, hala, unya na ka ng kaso sa mo kay usa at kung mabayad, automatic na na siya. Now, if you know, mag tinaging on nga, an HR, no, personnel, should also, kanina dapat, ima po rin siyang tungan, no, ang balaod kay, di ka pwede, no, nga, mukuan ka, no, mo, escape ka from your responsibility. If ka na yung mong trabahan kay diha, na-discuss siya na diya during working time niya, diya pagyan sa inyong social organization. So, of course, obviously, that becomes your that becomes your responsibility. So, of course, yung muha na, legally, kung sa may mayo ni muha na, you have to, you know, you have to pay. You have to provide for the medication of that person. Okay? So, next, recurring or new training needs. So, do you know, anong recurring or new training needs? From Molina, from time to time, can training this cannot be done only by during introduction. No, delete no. 
training is always there, no? It must uh, be there, always. Okay, ano? Ako lang yung, akong gisay-say, no? Previously, during, before on board, of course, there's a training. Uh, nga, diyan naman, muundang naman ang training, no, no? If, uh, during sa, sa pagpanalbaho sa sa kaipleyado, o modivate ang yung performance, based on the performance evaluation, so, that's the time that the person will also become subjected for tra retraining. Retraining na po. Other than retraining, naman po tayo training na ka na bang ikandak dili naman, naman po yung ba niya training no nga, ka na nga, like for example, may ngotag about uh, magkandak uh, seminar, o ka na, appeal mo po na. No, ka na mga seminar, seminar about leadership seminar, and, uh, that's also very important. That is for professional advancement. Okay? Other uh, policies, business strategies, laws, or regulations that may affect cost. So, apil na na, no? uh, the policies, uh, business strategies, apil na na, pareha sa, uh, pareha sa chok -chok -chok For example lang, no? uh, part of its uh, business strategies, no, kanilang ilahang kuan. Ang ilahang kuan, kanilang gibagoon na sa nila, gibusab na po nila ang ilang, uh, it, I know it is the idea coming from the marketing kuan, specialist na, Usab na na no ang ilang color na pulong sa chokso ko lahi na no ang ilang logo lahi na po so of course that could uh, actually uh, that actually needs another cost of money also okay so, uh, there you can read our uh, projections may be simple or complicated and will heavily depend on the nature of the expenses and the data available. So, you know, HR managers preparing a budget for the first time will need to gather every source of available data to make educated projections. Oh, dili lang po ingon. Tapos no nga, ka na nga, kung sige tao educated projections because somehow that is realistic. Somehow based on logical. No? When there is that uh, proposal for, what's the matter, a proposal about something no, for, for that year, Kaya siyempre, wala. Ang sandi minsan na mag-himo sila program. No? Wala po yung program nga i-propose kung dili importante. So, importante dyan na. So, ibalik, i-review, i-examine siya. Uh, so, diha yeah, ang kaning kaning ato ang i-aim po, kaning, kaning mga mga programs or other nga mga plans for the next year, of course, it has also to be, uh, it, it is very important na dapat po i-anticipate po ni mo ang mga expenses, i-anticipate po ni mo uh, how uh, achievable it is, no? Kung, kung pwede ba na siya ma-achieve, kaya basi nag-propose ana niya, dili na ito, no? Kaya, you know, like for example, we are, we are now growing, so of course, we are going to uh, we are going to hire more personnel. Na niya, hire ni mo niya, oy, wala rin kayo kabutingan, kaya wala rin ito building. Uh, dili, wait, klaro, no? So it has to be, dapat na gina siya proper nga, kwan, nga planning. Tax obligations, new organization must be registered with the Internal Revenue Services, IRS. HR, HR will need to check that the organization has a federal employer identification number. Oh, no, no, again, no, importante is registered with state and local revenue agencies for payroll tax purposes. Depending on the size and structure of the organization, these functions may be handled by the accounting or finance departments. So, kanino, these are the, the person concerns uh, of this uh, task. Kaling tax uh, tax obligations. Uh, set to it that the organization has its uh, money uh, employer identification number. So, apo na identification number no business sa ilang business. So that uh, dito po may mga kwintada po na ilang tax. Okay? Nga, sir, ma makapamakak. Dili juga kapamakak. No? Kaya nga, namungo na siya. That is, uh, namungo na siya. Namungo na siya. Kwa, no? Namungo na siya based on record. Na na mayan tayo ron, naman tayo report also. Mag-examine po daan na. Siguro na yung mga times na pwede, uh, pwede no, ang uban ng mga organization, mga lagi na, no? uh, they are going to deny or something uh, na lang uh, murag i-agi-agi tikas na yung mga inana, no? Because uh, we know naman na ito ang sistema diri sa ato ang, ato ang nasun, no? Nga, sometimes, uh, muna, uh, under under the table ang pagi sa mga kuha, no? But, uh, one thing is for sure, of course, they are the concerned uh, nga mga, mga tao no, nga will take good care of tax obligations, accounting and uh, finance department. So they are going to communicate, coordinate uh, from each other. 
no? para ani. Now we have payroll system and administration. No? Setting up a payroll system is a high priority. So each our professionals may wish to work with a payroll vendor to help reduce administrative burden and to assess the payroll compliance. So yeah, no, na po tay examine po dani atong payroll system and administration. No, uh, na po na po tay examine ani. Now outsourcing to third party administrator administrators for payroll and related tax duties helps busy employers meet filing deadlines and deposit requirements. So they they have for transparency purpose we have to you know check. But uh, siguro I think there is that uh the DTI mo siguro plus. No, uh they are going to check with our with the compliance of the organization in terms of payroll system. Okay. Now we have company uh company wide staffing plan. So HR should uh, work with management to gain an understanding on the short and long term staffing needs and budget. The so, Dreno a staffing plan will determine the composition and content of the workforce required to position the organization for current and future businesses objectives. So it's not only concerning about today, no, but also appeal to the nation from the word itself company wide. So meaning to say, of course, tanan, no, tanan ng mga departments, uh, appeal. Now, the staffing plan also depends, no, on the budget, on the income of the company. Nga, Aside from the thing, diyan na magsugutan na, no? Na, like, kanin mga tools, mga equipments that are to be used. The, the kanin mga, what? Buildings, no? Mga infrastructure that are to be built. Kaya mo, gano'y, di man taka, di man taka, ka plano o tarong, not unless, uh, there's that plan. Now, you have to make sure, no? Na, asa da pita ang i-prioritize ang nauna. O sa buhaton, no? Dili kay Maritso ka, mo, gano'y, no? Mag-hiring ka, Maritso. Recruitment, and silk, and recruitment selection, there's a budget. Pero wala kayo kapatrabahuan na niya. Asa ni Mubutang? Wala kayo kuwang pag-equipment, kuwang pag-building. So, it, uh, like, gani nga, no? It has to be, it has to undergo with this, what we call a very logical kayo nga paagi because uh, we're talking money here, no? We're also talking about the, kani, ang, ang, ang kuwan sa organization, ang hinatnan sa organization. So, of course, uh, it would be much safer to actually uh, do it systematically. So here, uh, working with the owners, founders, and management, HR creates a three to six month staffing plan and budget to determine how much time and activity need to be expended uh, on proper properly staffing the organization. Now, Mungutana, sir, is it only is it always at all times reliable or kanino mawagini ang specific na ang month? Para na ako dili 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 mo siguro no kay magdepende man sa expertise sa uh, usa ka HR but uh, at least no by by this span of month they can actually you know create plans staffing plan and also of course part of that kaning budget no uh, mao na gingon di budget to determine how much time and activity needed to be expended on properly uh, staffing the organization uh so yeah no long term staffing plans may influence HR department staffing needs as well so diha po no ang atong ang long term plans of course depende po na siya no sa situation kung, kung like for example sa usa ka organization o continuously ni boom boom ug mayo ang organization so that's the time also nga kinahanglan na pud ka mo kuan mo puno puno ko kag tao na mo puno na pud kag like for example kung mo puno ka og empleyado ah mo puno og pareha sa chok sugo nga company mo puno sila og kanang kuan mga mga Say mga nana, mga stool. Ah, di lang stool, oh. mga stool. No? Puno sila mga nana. So na mga mga crew dihan, ay mga crew. So the more you are actually hiring crew to sail anang mga manok, maliga na mga manok, of course, you will also be needing an additional maintenance. No, kadi na po na makiter sa maintenance niya. Well, gina, no, nga, tanan, it's a domino effect. Nga, of course, when it actually uh, which is its minimum, no nga, what is the minimum man yun sa, sa ka-HR to actually cater, talang 500, gani kapoy na gani kayo na, no? Ang, ang, ang HR mo cater o 500, kapoy na gani kayo na, but if, if that would actually exist 500, so if it needs to actually hire another one to actually help with one, na mati, ma, depende yun po na, no? mati magtimbang po na niyo mo, no? If you are in the, the HR manager, tanawin mo sa imong HR personnel, luoy na kayo, Kapoy na kayo, do you, you also have to find solutions. Kaya pasig mo resign, hinuuna, 
no? Uh, in order to, you know, uh, ang, ang trabaho ay mong mabahin, ha? Yung, ma, yung ma, matunga. Okay? So, and if HR does not have an accurate list of uh, open positions, the first step is to compile one. So, you have to compile. What are to compile? What, kung sumay, kung sumay compile, no? Compile mo tanan, no? Ang imo ang mga, mga, ah, uh, ito, no? Nakalatag ang budget. Ano na, imo na i-compile. I-compile na nimo. Ah, uh, kanin, no? You, of course, you you begin. Normally, you begin to recruitment and selection. Diya, no? Diya ka mag, ah, uh, Diya ka magkuhan, diya ka magsugod no? with the open position list in hand. No, if you have someone, you have known someone that are, ano no? Ah, uh, sige, tawag internal hiring. If there is that someone who is uh, competent enough to, to be hired in a position na naka-meet up sa yung requirements, then why not, no? Internal hiring, pwede. No, pero if wala, of course, you will be inviting another, you know, another people, no, to, uh, Para dyan, no? To, to apply in the company. <clears throat> okay, next we have job description, no? It's a useful plain language tool that explains the task, duties, function, and responsibilities of a position. So dyan, no? Atong matato dyan. Kung sa may nasa job description, of course, na dyan ang task, no? Ang duties. Uh, duties na to, no? Ang function. And yeah, responsibilities of a position. Asa ra kuto bang limit, limit, limitation nimo sa mong responsibilities? Where to report? No? Your working conditions that is also uh, there in job descriptions. Now, so my working conditions. Depende, no? Uh, depende. Depende, no? Depende kung unsay ko. Like, for example, na my working conditions that uh, speaks to the environment. Uh, ano? So na dia no asa kada pita ma assign na 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 dia sa job description. Okay? So job description are used for a variety of reasons such as determining salary level. So ang gamit ko sa job description also is to determine salary levels, di ba? Kay diam na no. Uh, vertical magina sila sa task and duties. Next we have uh we have uh what is this? Conducting performance review. Oh, ala, so performance na to, no? If if your performance actually deviates, of course, dili ko ka pwede subjected for paano? Ano bang ang imong sildo ang padak-an yung mga lugaya na nako may tubo-tubo ang sildo? So, ang um, sapot nga basihan diya, no? Is ano yung ato performance, no? If if ilang ma-review diya imong performance, ah, uh, walay, walay tubo-tubo ang -tubo. mong <laughs> paano? Same diya po, satisfactory, satisfactory. Oh, of course, you are not subjected for promotion or subjected for what? Ano nga to receive higher salary? Okay, clarifying missions. Oh, yeah, no, from the word itself, clarifying missions, of course. What are your missions? Sa may imuhang, yeah, no, sa may imuhang, ang ngayon, na buhaton ra, yeah, sa organization. Establishing titles and pay grades. Uh, yeah, no? And creating reasonable accommodation controls and a school for recruiting. So, yeah, Mona, yeah, and with, this can also be the tool no, for, for recruitment no, when uh, HR personnel conducts recruitment. Okay, job description are also useful in career planning, offering training, exercising, establishing legal firms for compliance purposes, appeals, yeah. And also, a job description gives an employee a clear and concise resource to be used as a guide for job performance. Okay, so, yeah, no, mapuna siya, mapasihan din ato, no, sa ato ang, uh, kani, uh, ang, ang mga HR, when they are going to, you know, uh, kanino, conduct performance evaluation, that is also based, uh, coming from the base of job description. Diyan ko na nilang lang tawad, no? Ilang, ilang tanawan, muna nilang tool. Nga, kay, of course, pariyan na sa exam class, no? Lain po kayo, tagaan mo math niya, exam mo mo English. Patunan sa inyo ang math niya, English yung exam, of course, masok po kita, no? So it has to be, uh, it has to go in, uh, paano? Uh, sila, no? mag, 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 sa, mag, sila, mag, nga, dili mo meet up ang imong ways of job evaluation. Kaya panalitag imo ng putbolon or like mo reklamo na nga dos duli, patay ka, no? Tanaw ni Dula, di mo ni mao imong way of evaluation. Evaluate sa imong empleyado. Muro ba rin siya kuan? So, may tabo ni mga na, of course, pwede ka ma-question or else pwede ka matak-tak sa imong trabaho. Kahit, of course, that's, uh, 
one way that you're showing your incompetence. Pay structure, developing a fair and competitive pay structure is one major aspect in attracting and retaining talent. Oh, no, attracting and retaining talent. What are the, what are the, this becomes the strategy you know, of some uh, HR. Okay, uh, can sa HR department, of course, like for example, when you are going to post a uh, job hiring, uh, no, mag magpahin mo job hiring na niya, arara ba natin post social media, ng iba mga flyers, ang iba ang dragi na billboard. Now, th th this is also one way that you can actually attract mga, ano, mga, ano, attract, you can actually attract and retain talents. So, may ipasambot nila, ano, attract because, of course, what can actually motivate the people if you are paying uh, you, know, uh, you, are, you have that uh, competitive pay structure, uh, you can, you can, uh, ano, 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 imong, imong, imong mga empleyado, dili na sila masigbalhin-balhin. No? Aside from dili sila magbalhin-balhin, of course, uh, on the other side also, kaning mga, mga, kwan, mga, mga playay, uh, dali ra kay kanila makuana, no? dali ra kay, ka, dali ra kay sila ma, mag, mainganyo ng mga play sa inyong organization. Because because of this competitive pay, importante magine no kay if you are going to understand the reality, karon good listen na kayo. So all of the people are actually motivated with a uh, good salary. Okay, karon dagan kay pa mahalang kalitunon. So with that, nakatabang kasi ang dapat sa tuwa. Now kaning kita wag retaining talent. So for those uh, na naanadiha no na trabaho na diha, oh, they will no longer be transferring from one work to another, no? Diyan na sila, mabalhin na po sila kay maybe wala na meet ang ilang needs. It's it's the needs plus it's very important. Personal and professional growth is very important. Kanin siya, mapart mo siya sa Kwangon. Uh, this can actually affect the both, uh, the both of them, both uh, personal and professional. Uh, personal, we have our personal needs. So if, if you're not give, uh, if you're not actually offering good compensations and good uh, competitive uh, salary package sa uh, mga kwan, empleyado, uh, of course, you cannot help, uh, you cannot actually maintain those people no, to, to stay the uh, organization. Okay? Building a market-based based structure from scratch encompasses several steps. So, of course, na po kita wag of kwan, no, basis. So, like, for example, the, the basis right now is coming from the mandates of the government to pila minimum mo, na say minimum. So what about the type of industry magipindi po na siya like for example you are a call center industry a BPO industry unya ni mong sildo sa imong BPO minimum 360 362 oy wala ka na pasok sa kwan no wala ka wala ka na unified sa sa tawag ani competitive pay wala ka na unified sa ilahang uh, standard no pay structure so you also have to to you know, uh, to go with the standard pay structure so that dili ka malugi so that na yung mga apply sa yung organization sa yung kumpanya. Okay? Importante, no? Gather, uh, these are the steps, no? Gathering the background information needed for project success, determining your sources of uh, external market data and getting the data ready, uh, conducting the market data analysis, no? developing the pay structures, calculating the cost of the pay structures, implementing and evaluating the new pay structures. So everything has to be examined. Everything has, uh, you have to revisit, no? you have to review. If there is that uh, existing na nga, nga kani, kani nga mga pang mention they about, sa, about sa salary, so you have, it, it would be much uh, better to actually have basis also. Now, uh, part of that, no? uh, kani pag include ng benefit plan. So what are the benefit, benefit plans that you can actually provide for, for the people? For, the, for your employee, so the organization needs to determine what benefits are mandatory and what voluntary benefits it wants to prove employees. So, atong, atong himayon, there are mandated benefits, no? mandatory. Nangitag mandatory, that is actually coming or that is actually uh, ano, mandates of the law that uh, the organization has to provide or the employer has to provide all of that. No? So, what about this voluntary? So, kanin, voluntary, it depends on the organization. Now, if they have that, uh, ano, ano, na, uh, good for those organization nga mga dagto, because uh, other than that, no, na po sila'y lain nga mga compensation and benefits nga di-offered. 
type of sample, parihaan ng mga call center, mga BPO nga once you can actually reach the quota, actually it was not mandated man, but if you can actually reach the quota, so that's the time that uh, they're going to pay extra, you know, extra uh, compensations for the effort that you have exerted. So, ano, no? Uh, other than that, napoibutang dre ka ng vacation na to, no? vacation leave, sick leave, uh, personal days, or a PTO bank that combines all leave. So, yeah. so instead, ang, ang, ang butang ka lang, no? uh, ang, ang pinaka minimum na leave that are mandatory is, ano, no? uh, at least we can have uh, one day na pahuay or rest, rest days or saka week. So, napoiba, no? uh, ang ila, ha, if, like, for example, diri sa CTO, as per may balaan ako, no? they have siguro mga six, mga siguro five ba, mga leave. So, five leaves for a year uh, with pay na, ha? With pay. Even if you're not uh, present to report uh, to, to your work, of course, still you'll be receiving salary. Okay? And so on and so forth, no? Uh, Nadia. The employee handbook. So, human resources professionals recognize uh, the employee handbook as an essential tool for communicate uh, for, for communicating work workplace culture benefits and employment policy information to employees so kan importante kan ni handbook na mura mag uh, sa inyo madre no nga like uh, din sa CTU uh, you have a students manual no yan kan ni ang kan kan ni handbook na po ni siya dire no mission vision goals na dire no tanan na po dai guidelines kan ni kan ni atong policy apil na no Ah, uh, no, y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y y as per observation lang ako, kagad tayo, wala mo kayo inani no, sa organization, wala may mga tagong inani, but it would be much better if you in yourself, you can actually initiate to provide this employee handbook because this is very important. No? Kaya usahin mo ko, mga ginano nga, natawag siya, ang purpose niya for creating employee handbook is magigipanganalan sa employee is that is intended for the employee, for them to be able to know also. No? Kaya naman usahin, wala sila like clue no nga, when can they actually avail the benefits? When can they actually the kind of no, employment practices about the safety issues? So na po diyan, no? Na ah, uh, usay mingon lang ko o kompanya ng oye. We will not be held liable about that one. Kito mo di muham lang ka ugaling ng kalapasan. Ang gingon na mo diyan magspatus ka wala ka magspatus. So at least somehow that could actually kana mga mga ginagmay ganing ng mga issue. Pwede na kaya ano makatabang na kaya ng employee ng handbook para nga to correct all of those mga uh, kanino, mga notions about sa mga managlahi nga idea sa tao. So, it's very important nga kinanglan po ni mo siya nga imo pong imo ha pong mastiron, imo lang tawon. Imo mo siya murag batakan, no? Muna yung kundigo na to. Um, sama bag, sama bag balaon. Hindi lang tapo hindi pataka lang tagtabi. Do, no, they, there must be a basis. So, yun na, usap, kanina employee handbook, yan o no, na, kita na ni Mudiha, no? What are the the benefits, the compensations that are of uh, that are actually uh hatag sa organization does mo ha o parehang leave of absence procedures when can you actually avail this what we call leave o na may uban nga wala nila na natarong og file ang ilang leave dito sila sila absent so of course that is not subjected to mga sir ano nga mo ka nanong gi gimaynusa man akong sildo sir nga naman may leave Oh, the question there is, wala ba ka mo, mo, mo lukso? So, dapat, dili ka mo lukso. You have to follow the, the normal procedure, which is to, you, you have to submit letter prior to the day sa imuang pag-absent, so that it can be filed. No, It's uh, a matter of, you know, everything is a matter of kaning ba, no? Kanibang pag-file. Okay? Safety issues, labor relations matters, and consequences for misconduct. O, dire, kaning policy, o, oh. Very important, you can know, the company's policy. So, of course, at least you will be guided. No, what are uh, the possible uh, sanctions or what are the possible nga mga pa, no? ay mga ma receive if ever you're going to perform or to, to, to do something. This is what we call misconduct. 
Okay? So, employment posters. Uh, employers are required to post relevant federal and state employment law posters in each facility whereas employees can readily see them. So, diyan, ano na, yun na, diyan, yung employment posters. Asa ang HR department, asa diha ang, uh, ano, 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 mga, mga butang diyan, yan, ganyan, butang fire exit, o, na, diyan, this way, to the koan, ano, so, na, yun na siya, sa, mo, may gamit yan sa organization. May at least, kung panalitan naman, especially you're operating just such an organization that uh, you operate like for example pagihaan ng uh, production ng uh, company so you're in a production company so of course na, from time to time lagi tayong mga client or mga mga tao mga naituyo diha so at least they can somehow uh, dali na kayo na maka, makakita asa sila padulong ano ano Next, we have hiring procedures. The hiring procedures includes multiple steps and various practices, including the use of application forms, uh, interviews and pre-employment testing, whether to use a written employment uh, contract and the terms of an employment of all of or also come into play at this stage. So finally, HR uh, must oversee the process of organizational entry referred to as onboarding or orientation. I think I, I am done uh, discussing this, that one before. No? Muna siya, no, before ta mo, mo, mo conduct of uh, recruitment and selection, so of course, muna siya, kinanglan, prepare na to, no, kanan, uh, nakalatag na based on the job analysis. Ito na po, tas job description and job spe uh, specification, no? So that you will be able to know, kanino, say, mga function, kanin kahana, uh, kanin kahana, I say, immediate superior, uh, working conditions, job specification is something very internal no, about the qualifications in terms of educational attainment, the skills needed for the job, and so on and so forth. Now, then, you know, uh, we have this application forms. Ang, ang gamit sa application forms is at least dali lang ka, no? Uh, Namanggoy uban nga mga apply for, uh, good for them if they can actually provide a uh, resume. Namanggoy uban nga walk-in lang. But uh, at, some, at some point, Sometimes no, we can encounter nga bisag nga ganay ta resume mina gyud pay application forms. Now kan siya is very you know uh this this is not something designed for nothing. This is actually designed with purpose. Application forms uh siguro that could uh easily uh help that can actually help the HR to easily highlight no what are the qualifications of this person, who is this person and ano mas dali ra siya and that that can also be included to the 201 file during filing. Now, interviews and employment testing. So, of course, naam tayo, conduct tayo ka ng preliminary interview, pre-employment testing. So, diyan, no, ang panan din na lang, pati kung din nag-exam. Written, whether to use a written employment contract and the terms of employment offer also come into play at this stage. So, diyan, no, diyan kung may tabo, no, nga, ano yung pangutan o manta. Kasi during interview, pangutan o manta, ano, Initial interview plang dani pangutan na juga no how much is your salary expectation? So what's the purpose for that? So at least they can somehow go with the pagtandi no ilang itandi if the company how much is the the salary that are actually allocated for that particular position? So diya pala nila magcontest. Kani man po no this is from case to case basis kaya magdepende man po no if like for example if ang ilang ginid nga usa ka HR is HR generalist so nya ito na how um, my experience you have been uh, working for 5 years in an HR no, performing the position as a generalist so of course diyan mo na magdepende kina no kung pila ilang offer nga salary nimo no ah uh, say based on among skills based on experience that you have okay so diha uh, Yeah, before tamu kan, before tamu proceed to the next step, of course, wonder go segit tano kan yang testing. That's also very important because that could actually provide exact kayung information no about kay muhang mga field of interest, no? And even kan yang tuan kan, kan yang kan yang kan yang pag hatag exam satu aja, no? Nai verbal ability, matematikal ability, attitude. Test, so diyan na makita o asa kadapit ang area nga mas mo excel. Okay? And that, that can also be the, yan eh, pwede po na namin yun nalang mahimong basis no, para sa imuhang, uh, kan eh, sa imuhang uh, promotion or asa kadapit ang area nila i-assign, what are, na, no, what are the necessary things that they can actually do to, to help you grow uh, personally and uh, professionally.
And of course, uh, before that, before you're going to let that person actually on board for a job, of course, it has to undergo with this what we call orientation. Kailangan si Jay pa undergo orientation okay, so that somehow, oh, kabalo na siya daan, ah, maoday ni, maoday na. Okay? Ang balaod, maoday, kaya kanya ibang balaod, importante man po ni, sinugdanan. And uh, the nature of the job, uh, which is to, to be performed sa usap at tao. Personnel files, uh, human resource records are the repository of personal, organizational, and legal data documents concerning individual employees and the relationship with the employer. So many liabilities issues can result from improperly maintaining employment records. Did you know, can you use the initial class? Can personnel files, uh, especially the one that I mentioned a while ago, the 201 file, it's very important because there are many other things that repository of personal, organizational, and legal data. So you know, they are, uh, your requirements that, that was actually included there, no? Your uh, your performance evaluation result was already there also. Na po na dia, no? Uh, uh, in, like example, if na kay na commit ng mga pan misconduct dia so, so sa ka organization or naka na violate nimo, so of course you can actually receive memo or kaning charge memo or kundi charge memo kaning disciplinary action, no? Nya, diha, atum na siya dito, atum na i-compile dito. So that can also be the basis na imuha nga, ang siya pa man yung tawhanan ni, nakabuhat na man yung katulog kasala niya based sa ito ang code of conduct sa company. Kuhaan naman, after makabuhat at tulog kasalaod niya, same lang di hapon na sistema sa sala. So this person is subject for termination. O niya, kung wala kay proper, hindi na nyo, wala na nyo gitarong o compile niya, naka, na kabalitok kayo, balitok kayo na diha. So, of course, nawa na yung ayaw o nawala, nawan niya ang hihang katungkuhan. So, dilip, kung ka pwede nga mingon lang, balik tulo na biyato ha, nawala evidence diha. So, of course, that can be the best source of everything. For promotion, pwede po na siya, no? For promotion, diha, kung ka magkuha diha na pita, no? Based on the results of the evaluation, kanito ha na, no? Excellent, excellent. So, you are subjected for promotion. Of course, in line to that, ang yung mga pang swildo mo sa kapod. Okay? Or other, uh, for other purposes, of course, pwede po siya mahimu po siya nga, siya nga na ni, mahimong reference nila kung asa kanila nila dapita pwede aside from the kind of uh, work you're applying with, the kind of job that you are performing with, uh, they can also assign you for another task or another nga, nga trabaho which is inline also and uh, which is na po kay skills po at to. Okay, performance evaluation process. So the performance review process uh, includes both continuous and formal feedback and periodic, no? Usually annual uh, formal feedback. Uh, for ano nang uh, for some organizations by once a monthly, no? But uh, for other organizations, I do not know uh, because wala mo ko na kaka no. But dire gingon dire annual na po annual na po siya ikaw nasa by semesteral. Now. The mid kinesia, no? This is to also uh, to examine if the the what is this? Uh, the performance or the the quality of work to be rendered in a particular organization, like no? We talk about the quality. Kaya mong pagpanerbisyo kung wala ba ni debate, no? Kaya o pananglitan di kan kasi excellent kasi nuganan yun. Kaya manam kanam anam kagulho. So of course that is very alarming. So, kinang land, the HR must do something uh, para ma-maintain ma mo. Okay, what, uh, what is actually, kung sa may gilong sa usang organization, continuous improvement. Okay? Yeah, if wala tayo continuous improvement, so, wala yung pulos, no? Wala yung possibility na murag ma mapadung ta sa, kung wala. So, muna nga niha, ilan ang ilan ang monitor. Uh, other than that, also, they have to consider factors. Uh, like, nganong-nganong news post to, para itong pag-pandemic, uh, due to Pambaron transportation, so that somehow they can also offer something to resolve problem, especially if that particular problem is related to the, you know, say, mong personal, personal ni mong situation. Ah, so, at least, no, makatabang ang HR para ana, na, gani, no, kanang mga call center, so, na, malit, malit, itungod, ah, walay kasakyan, so, mo, nag-give up, nag-provide ng mga shuttle, ana, so, that is very helpful. Okay? Now, uh, the evaluation process also, no? 
pwede ba na, pwede, pwede be uh, the basis for a termination? Pwede po. No? Kasi sa urban organization, eh, naman po na sila na class na uh, it has to be ang uh, imong performance ma-retain ma- ma- ginan nimo sa standard. Ang uh, pinaka-list nimo na is standard. Uh, if you cannot reach the, the standards, of course, for, for, for uh, continuously, sige lang ka ka, deviate, deviate, deviate mo ang performance, uh, kana na matak-tak na yung kana. Okay? And uh, is, uh, is it legal? Yes, that is legal. Uh, hindi na, depende na no, uh, sa fund, sa organization na kung uh, maluoy ba sila, dili. Pero legally, kung taktakon ka nila because of your uh, performance na walay walay kuan and deviate sa yung standard oh, of course wala kita mahimo now we have uh, starting an HR department in an existing organization so being charged with establishing human resource department in an existing organization can appear overwhelming so if, uh, often HR uh, professionals are just not sure where to start so the key to success as with most things to begin by listening, observing, and learning about the organization. So finding out what the HR expectations are for the new job and the human resource department is essential. So it's also, inani no, mula po tayo ng apply trabaho ba nga, ng apply trabaho ba nga, of course, you have to be proactive. So you should know the background, you should know uh, where the organization actually started, ang saan siya nga nature of the organization, so that uh, you will not find it very difficult to Kung, kung sa magana yung imong kinahanglan na maambag sa usa ka organization no dire uh, no na ingon finding out what the expectations are for the new job and the human resource department is essential the hr professionals can start by asking questions such as the following number 1 what is the purpose of creating this new department so dia no makita ko na no uh, who made the decision to create the position and who understands the inner workings of the organization and knows the key decision makers? No? How were human resource activities handled in the past and by whom? No? So, yeah, at least you have the background. Ah, okay. Sa una, di ay mawala ito yung nani ang policy. It's because ang nagkuhan di diri sa una is uh, lawyer. Eh, oh, na, no? So, at least you have the background. And uh, somehow, if there are, mawala gina, no? At usbon, if there are need to actually uh, re- restructure, re- restructurize the kaning tan, uh, you can do that one, no? If you are in the position, what is the culture of the workplace? Nante, no? uh, I think uh, that would be all uh, for today. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, and I hope you learned something with uh, with uh, this chapter, no? Uh, Ako ang discussions. And um, God bless everyone and thank you.